How's it going, YouTube? Today I got a new Travisanoff. The Villa. Villa. However you want to say it. Let's check out the box real quick. Um, in case you care. Pretty sturdy box. Got a microfiber cloth. Some paperwork. QC. Past September 1st. And a little bag. I have never used one of those bags that came with a knife. <laughs> and here's the knife. This is the Vila-04L, their newest model. As you can see, it's a, their first crossbar lock. And this exact model retails for $57.99. They do have a couple other versions. I'll pop up on the screen. But yeah, as soon as I seen this, I knew I had to have it. Not just for the crossbar lock, it's just got a main looking blade. Contoured micarta, it's just right up my alley. Um, let's go over specs. Got a 3.38 inch blade of 14C28 in. And it's got satin and stone wash on the flats. I guess I'd call this a drop point. Got a 3.5 millimeter blade stock or 0.14 inches. Overall length of 7.85 inches. Before we do the size comparison, let's check out the edge. Um. It cuts, but it definitely could be better. Now let's get into size comparisons. CJRB Lago. And Spiderco Manix 2. It's just a hair longer or shorter than the Manix and very close to the Lago. Best Tech Ronin. And the CMB Predator 2. Uh, very close to the same length on both of these. And the Predator reminds me of it the most. Just because the scales are all contoured and smooth. So if you have this knife, the scales are about identical. And one more, just because it's Travisa. It's the SGR, about the same length on this one too, maybe a little bit longer. Got a 4.55 inch handle, 0.52 inches wide, and the close width in the pocket is 1.42 inches. You have T6 hardware besides the pivot, and you got a weight of 4.05 ounces and you do have a little bit of weight relief on the inside now i will say when i got this knife for like the first couple of hours i was hating it and wanted to return it then i realized that i wasn't doing it right all right so if you try to close this like a normal knife let me zoom out It does that. If you pull the bar down, then you gotta like work it to get it in, which is not normal. But for some reason, I guess this, since this is their first try, they didn't quite do it right. So you gotta barely pull the bar down. If you pull it all the way down, it's gonna mess up. You just gotta barely do it. Harder to do behind the camera, but let's see. I've gotten the hang of it now, just not behind the camera. Zoom back in. Got a non reversible clip that's not deep carry, and I'll show you how it goes in and out of the pocket. 
So yeah, it's not deep carry and I prefer it was, but it is very comfortable. The contoured micarta, you don't have a, the scales sticking up on the back or not the, yeah, the scale, the liner, I mean, and the clip's not poking you, so it's very comfortable. And this is some blue micarta, like I said, it's contoured. A little bit of texture, about average. And the crossbar lock is adjustable. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Yep, you see the three holes? Now I did put mine on the tightest setting because uh, I don't know if you've seen a lot of crossbar locks, but they usually come with thumb studs and not a hole. So that makes it feel like the detent slider. But this one has a hole. So listen. The detent's still a little light, especially for the flipper. And you, I can fill it very easily. But the reverse flick is not bad. I can deal with that. I know I keep messing up closing it, but it's just because I'm behind camera. <laughs> Um, you have a few deployment options. Like I said, you got a flipper with three jumps on it. Push button's the way to go. And you can open it with the crossbar lock. Or reverse flick. Thumb flick. You have a pretty big backspacer. Love to see that. And it's matching. And a lanyard hole for those kind of people. And something Travis never does right. This is sharpening chill. But this one I think I might be able to sharpen it at least once before I get a smile. Now this locks on this knife. Oh the bar. I wish it was done completely right where you can pull it down all the way. Like that. This one's completely opposite. If you barely pull it down, it doesn't close all the way. So it'll take some getting used to this. And a lot of people are going to return it as soon as they get it because they think it's not working right. I about did. Um, the clip, um, I was I did have it on my dislock list, but I'm kind of I'm kind of all right with it. Uh, T6s. I wish it wasn't T6s. I wish it had inset liners, but that's not really a big deal. So overall, this might be my favorite Trivisa so far. It's definitely right there with the SGR and Lynx. But yeah, I'll have it linked down below if you want to pick one up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram. You'll usually see knives there first. And um, give me a like or comment. Let me know what you think about this one.